Okay, welcome to episode 6 of our playthrough of Eshade. And we've waded out the storm. Now we can safely go out. I don't know what would have happened had we got stuck in the storm, but we were warned, so it was good, uh, I think, a good idea not to stay out in it. Now our mission is we need to get reference letters so that we can access the city of Narva. And I think to do that, we might go and talk to everyone we've helped so far, including the bear. Hmm? Sure, I can vouch for you. You really got me out of a pinch there with that water fox. All right, that's one letter. That's easy enough. Okay, maybe... Maybe the fisherman? Who... Not here. He's probably straight over there, but let's just stick to the path. I don't think there's anyone in here we can help right now that might be able to give us a letter. What? You oh, painted yes. that owl? Ah. Uh, can, uh, can I buy it from you? I was wondering where you were. <laughs> Sweet. I'd forgotten where Anika was, but I shouldn't have forgot. Is this too many glowstones? I wouldn't know. I've never bought a painting before. Ooh. You've got a real ear for birds. Let me know if you ever need anything. I need a letter. Bye now. Ooh, ooh. Thanks for the painting. Ooh, for a friend like you, of course. All right. What can she tell us fancy, about now? Fancy, fancy city folk. But they do buy my pots. Ooh, ooh. Thanks for the painting. Bye now. All right. Let's well, two. And... We know where Tiffmore Bluffs is now as well. And we got ourselves a map which would have helped me with the Great Shade. That's why I'd forgotten where Anika was. I'd forgotten where the Great Shade was. But we're all good now. We have our map. I think uh, we can probably go to the Fisherman, but we also have a friend nearby who oh, is normally on here. Unless he's in the house. Our fisherman over there might help us. Thanks again for that painting. Dumb fish aren't biting today. Thanks again. See nope. you around. He's not going to help. Maybe our stuck in a jug buddy will help us out. Got a feather for you. Want to give us a reference? Nope. Well, I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Uh, thanks for getting Nika. Well, you are a nosy tourist, aren't you? 
I mean, that nosy, stuck-up, oh. goody, two-talon... Uh, if you had to deal with what I have to deal with... You know what? Oh. Get out of my house. You're just like everyone else in this town. Coming in here and telling me I'm a bad father? Get out! I know that's what you meant. Just get out! Uh-oh. I didn't think I made a friend. <laughs> get out! Okay. Alright. I probably just made everyone upset. I probably shouldn't have clicked on that. I didn't want to click on that. I really didn't think it through. But whatever. He's a nasty old man anyway. Let's go up and check out who's up here. Nobody? Maybe the guy that wants us to go to Nava will give us a letter just so that we can get in. It's not like we can do his practical joke for him unless we can get in. gonna be such a great prank uh, don't forget to meet me in Nava I'm usually near the bakery not helpful dude not helpful okay so we are short one letter and struggling she won't oh, give us one such a... None of that matters now though oh, now leave me be hmm who can we get a letter from what about this guy We've had quite a few shipwrecks here. There's a reef surrounding the bay, and that's what does it. It shouldn't slow down traffic too much, though. I'm just glad you all made it. Hmm. Okay. We are short. Oh, maybe this guy who's full of himself. Maybe he'll give us a letter. Try him first. I just can't wait to go home and show everyone this mag... I will not write you a reference. We already have too many vagrants in Nava for my tastes. Huh. The salty sea air never gets old. We're getting them one from her for sure. Sure, I can do that for you. Ha. Ah. Take care now. Take that, you angry old dude. All right, now we can go to Nava. If we have a look. Alright. See, what else do we have? An exclusive club. Oh, we can find that guy's amulet. We need to make. We need to find twine. Nava. Okay, so pretty much our only option right now seems to be to go to Nava or to help that fella find his amulet. So, absolutely confirmed that resources do respawn. Man, I just love this world. It's it reminds me a lot of many many years ago playing game uh, adventure games like Myst and uh, when the first graphical adventures came out. Oops, too deep. Only you know it has that kind of feeling to it. Only the graphics is obviously way superior. Oh, he's back. Where was he? Hello, good friends. Where's your left? 
What's that? Hmm. I think Kona can do that. Uh, I don't know what time it is, but I think we're fine now. We know there's plenty of places around here we can run to if it gets dark. I don't think the map tells us the time, does it? Anywhere? Nope. the sun. Oh, it must be getting close to evening. Still, I would like another before we go to Narva. I would like to see if we have any hope of finding this guy's amulet. Is over here in this direction. Yeah. I don't think he gave us a clue as to where his amulet could be. Fortunately, the game doesn't... It highlights everything that's that you can pick up or find in close proximity, so it's not as bad as finding a needle in a haystack. But maybe we should talk to him again to get a bit of an idea as to where he might have lost his amulet. Sorry, I don't feel like chatting right now. Sorry, I don't feel like chatting right now. Or not. I don't think there's anything in the quest log for it. Oh, lost amulet in the water. Okay, so it's in the water. Alright, so let's check the water. Sun, sun is getting a little low. No sign of the amulet. Such a beautiful game. The funny thing is, I'm compelled to paint that picture.
Hmm. How are we going? Oh, the sun is getting really low. Okay. We'll look further up upstream and... Oh, unless you need a raft to actually go out there, and it's out there. That's also possible. There is an island there. Hmm. Maybe the only way to find his amulet is to get a raft. But let's keep looking just the same. Maybe Raft can get you out to that boat as well. So it doesn't look like we're going to find his amulet in the water. Hot spring. Oh. Oh, this must keep you warm at night. I seem to be stuck. stuck. It said press control to sit, which I did. And... I'm stuck. What if we... Well now... Oh, no. Must... Maybe it's just timed. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> For a minute there, I was thinking I had to load a save point or find a way to, to break out of the, the animation, but we're all good. But no amulet in the water. I have a feeling we need a raft and we need to get out to that island. And I don't think... We need sealant and twine, and I have a feeling we're getting that from Narva. So it, I think it's time we head to Narva. Oh, actually, that looks... it might actually be very early. That looks like it's not even eclipse time yet. We might have plenty of, plenty of time up our sleeve. But he definitely said he lost his amulet in the water. Sorry, I don't feel like chatting right now. Yeah, I have a feeling we need a raft and we need to get out there. Okay, so let's go and get some twine and some sealant, which we can maybe buy in Narva.
Oh, he hello. Unless, unless he lost his amulet in this water and the reason he's looking in the ocean is because he thinks that's where it went. Hmm. That is a cat that we should... No, that's the, that's the water fox. Hello, sir. Yeah. I feel like that might be important at some point. Oh, no, they're everywhere. <laughs> Not important at all. And no sign of the amulet. Okay, so no amulet, any any of the water that we can see so far might be down further on the coast, but I am thinking we need to get across to that island, and that's the solution. So far, everything in the game has seemed pretty logical. So I'm thinking that's the logical approach. Hmm. We're definitely going to be able to get into Narva. Might just have a quick look down here and see what we can see before we go there. Fire Pit Schematic. Adventure Lifestyle Magazine. Building a Campfire. A campfire is a handy tool for those wishing to brave the cold nights of East Shade. Build one to cozy up your campsite and brew a nice cup of tea. In this issue of Adventure Lifestyle Magazine, we'll teach you how to light a fire of your own. Simply follow the schematic included here to light a roaring fire, sure to keep your evenings comfortable. Strap on your boots, adventurers, because the first step is collecting. Fellow adventurer Liz Dell shares the tale of his first time building a fire. Well. I'll never go back to sitting in the cold dark again. I ended up smelling like smoke, which wasn't my favourite thing, but you can't have a good camping experience without a toasty fire. And the hint there, obviously, is that we can build a fire when we're out in the cold now. A letter. Dear Victor, how I have missed you. Only three months into my journey and a large part of me wonders if it was an utter folly. I can't help but think of all the work you're doing in the shade without my help. Your dedication to the park is what inspired me to set out in search of my dearest passion. But what I found is that the world feels smaller without you by my side. 
For all the endless islands and new cities, I still find myself wishing to spend an evening by the fire with you. And so, I have decided to return early. I had planned to surprise you but couldn't wait. The world is beautiful, but even still, the vision of you is the one I cherish most. With love, Nils. P.S. I look forward to hearing about the birth of the water fox kits. They'll be nearly full grown by the time I return. Which means whoever this person is must be about to return. Alright, so we have a fire. Uh, nope. Not that. Not that either. That. Sticks. This will keep my campsite nice and warm. Okay, campsite. So we can probably build a fire to keep warm, but we need a tent to sleep, I imagine, or to keep out of the rain. Indo Nava. Okay, so we're not going back to Lindo. Let's let's just take a slight detour and then go to Narva. So this is where we encountered the fellow that told us to run for our lives because of the rain, and he was probably right. We probably would have had some serious trouble spot someone. It comes! Uh, we've been there, done that, buddy. What is that? Is that a hot air balloon? That is a hot air balloon. Oh, but... Damn. Every image in this game is like a painting. Which is kind of fitting, really. Every frame a painting. Ness's balloon. Oh, there's snow and ice. And the sun is getting low. Let's find out what's Hello, going brave on. Here. Traveler. I can see you have an adventurous spirit. I've got an excursion you're sure to love. Right oh, sharp as a knife you are. This here is the bursting bubble. It has the ability to take passengers all the way up to the mountain top. The ride is sure to give you a burst of adrenaline. <laughs> that is a terrible name. But we won't say that. You think so? I wish more people had your spirit. Last person here said they'd never ride it with a name that sounded so dangerous. What if I call it the sky drop? Neverland? Curiosity lift? Yeah, that's a perfect name. Much better. Thanks, friend. You know, when I invented this thing, I really thought it was going to revolutionize transportation. Imagine just flying right up to the tip top of the world! Seems like something everyone would want to do. But for some reason, folks just don't seem to understand the idea. They can't seem to picture a balloon carrying people in the sky. I've hardly been able to get anyone out here to see it in person. Anyhow, thanks for helping with the name, Traveler. Seems to me that you're full of good ideas. Okay. Hello, good traveler. Hope things are going... As for me, I still haven't got anyone new out here to fly with me. Shame, because I know anyone would love it if they saw it. Okay, 
So we're not meant to go up in that just yet. Or we're meant to find somebody else who who will. Jeez, look at that. It's incredible. Okay. Well, we'll need to work out what the deal is with the balloon later, the curiosity lift. But for now, let's head to Nava. References in order. Hmm, yes, it appears everything is in order. Go right ahead then. And welcome to Nava. Awesome. Okay. Well, we have our admission. So before we go in, I think we'll call that the end of this episode as we've gone on long enough. And we'll do a tour of Nava in the next one. I'll see you then.